Mad Monster Mansion. Place that I actually, to be honest, this this level's the level is the reason why I'm actually not at 100% for the first story mode. And the reason why is I'm actually missing four note tokens in that place. I don't know from how or from where, but I'm missing notes. I thought I found everything, but clearly I'm wrong. So, let's see if in this playthrough I can outdo myself and actually do better. top of my head what these guys are called again. All I know is you can't kill them without the um, invincibility ability. Ninja. Uh, if anyone remembers seeing that conversation from the beehive, we kind of skipped over. Pretty much at this point on, any future hive boxes that we see will have bees. If they come after us. So we've pretty much wasted all of our, um, old leaf. Great. We got one. Oh boy, we got ourselves one. Holy. Oh yeah, we can't do anything with that unless we go to the other side for something else. The main goal, I think, would be for me to get everything on the outside, then work on everything on the inside, and then work on everything that requires Mumbo. So, actually, I need to go this way anyways. Ooh, a mumbo token. I know. Hold on. Let me get you so that we don't shut up. What hurt me? What exactly hurt me? I actually don't know what hurt me. Oh yeah, they go back together. Once we do that. Problem is, we're gonna have to save any other future, um... Pieces. Actually, this is... No, it didn't do anything. There we go. Oh wait, now I remember. In order to unlock those... Wait, that's something different. That's to get into this... There. Like it matters, we actually don't really have much of a method to get in there. The only way to get in is cut off.
God, it was literally right there. I actually want to unlock this. Yeah, is this toxic? Yeah, it is. Oh well. I'm gonna come back to this later when I actually have Bumbo's power up. It'll be a lot easier for me to collect everything. Which, funny enough, the power up that I get in this specific level is probably one of the most wi widely used power ups for the Banjo Kazooie game. At least I think, in my opinion, it is. Because if you remember right, it's for two cheat pages and a bunch of hidden secrets plus a bunch of uh, needed items. that repelling that this is done. <laughs> My question is, who exactly is on that? So I'm gonna unlock this one. 
Oh, that's how you do that. Er. There's stuff on top of here. There's the entrance, because you have to break that, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. And we're up top now. Maybe these were the four I'm missing. Really? Damn it! But yeah, maybe those were the four node pieces that I was missing in the past playthroughs. I don't know. I mean, I'll eventually figure it out. Alright, so we go up. Dead. Up. That fucking damn it. I say up. He's up. At least up here, we get a nice aerial view of everything else that we gotta deal with. Also, I don't know what the hell that voice was. But that one's got a jiggy. The inside of here has a jiggy. Um, the well has a secondary thing that requires transformation. I also need to go down for Mumbo. Ah! She did the system. Wait, they already went in there, never mind. I think I'm right. Get to go up and over. Yep. And there's something behind here. Like that. Fires 29, we have 20. Is there something up here at all? What's that one? How about up up? Yeah. We'll come back later to this. Because if I remember correctly, this upcoming part's going to be a very annoying part. Annoying as in, if we fall off, we have to start back from the beginning of where we started. Go here in the bright house. I actually don't remember how to do that one, to be honest. 
Let's go ahead in the perch. In we go. 